to Rachel and I hope everyone enjoys their practice today. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks, Val. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hi everyone. Um, I, as Valerie said, my name is Rachel, Rachel Waring. It's so lovely to be here teaching you all and it's such an honor to be involved. Um, the donation link that we've popped in the chat is for a UK based charity called the Trussell Trust and they are um, essentially a food bank charity. They are working to end um, hunger in the UK, which is something that unfortunately is on the up. I know you're massively hit in the US as well. So um, families who were possibly already struggling are now being joined by many more families who previously were doing okay, but the pandemic has just meant that there are more and more people existing in poverty and hunger. And it, it just feels that as first world countries, these are issues we should be able to resolve ourselves. So if you can afford to give anything, that would be amazing. The link is there. I'm also just going to pop in a um, link to my Spotify playlist. So if you have Spotify, feel free to um, just hit that playlist and um, hopefully that should work. Um, the theme of our class this evening, this morning, depending on which side of the Atlantic you are, um, is reconnecting to joy. And the reason that I wanted this to be our focus is because, I mean, we've all, we've all had a really heavy time for the last 12 months. It's not been easy for any of us. And I think a lot of the time we have a tendency to take ourselves and our lives and our responsibilities very seriously anyway, even at the best of times. And we haven't had the best of times. So that tendency towards seriousness is just kind of becoming much more heavy. It's kind of weighing us down a bit. And so we're gonna have a really playful class. Uh, if you do like to practice with props, please feel free to grab those. Um, this is, a class where you will be encouraged to laugh at yourselves so if you fall over that's fine just laugh at yourself get back up um my <laughs> my yoga background is ashtanga which is a super serious practice you are very serious every day you do your practice six days a week um and i moved away from that a few years ago because it was just too too serious for me and i like my mat to be somewhere that yes, I come to heal myself, but also it's somewhere that I come to have fun and a break from the responsibilities of life. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I don't think there's anything else that I need to tell you. If you have any questions, please do um, unmute yourselves and just shout at me. Um, and I will try to be super, clear but if at any point you can't understand my strange British accent again just unmute and shout <laughs> so I'm just going to switch my cameras which hopefully should work there we go so now you can see my maps okay cool so I would like you to just come onto your mat and start in a comfortable seat, whatever that might mean for you. So you might be cross-legged like me, you might like to just prop your hips up on something to make yourself really comfortable, whatever works. So finding your way to that seat, hands just resting down on your knees and just close your eyes there. Coming to sit up nice and tall, but without any effort or strain, I'm just starting to take a little bit of time before we move to check in with yourself. Just notice how you're feeling, not only in terms of the physical sensations, not only noticing what might be feeling a bit tight or tired, or maybe what might be feeling open and spacious, but also noticing your energy levels, your emotional state, 
and your state of mind. And just taking stock, but without criticism, without judgment, just noticing. And starting to drop into your breath. Again, not really changing anything, but just becoming aware of the sensations of each inhale and each exhale. And then noticing where those places might be that you habitually store your tension. So maybe you have a tendency to really clench your jaw. Maybe your shoulders like to creep up towards your ears. Or maybe you often inadvertently find yourself with a little frown on your face. Whatever your preferred location for stashing tension and stress is, just see if you can try to soften that a little. And then bringing your hands together in prayer at heart center, taking a moment to set an intention for your practice. If something doesn't naturally come to mind, then I invite your intention to be joy, play, lighthearted, And then just slowly releasing your hands down to your lap again, blink your eyes open. If you haven't already hit play on that playlist, then feel free to hit play and get that started. Hands come to the fronts of your knees, so you're in a cross-legged position if you weren't already. Starting super simple on an inhale, just lifting the heart, draw the shoulders back, look up. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone, start to round the spine, pulling belly button to spine and just slowly dropping your chin to your chest. And then inhale, gently rolling the spine out the other way. And exhaling as you round. We'll take one more like that. And then inhaling, coming back up to a neutral spine. Just let that breath go. And then inhale, reach the arms up, palms come together, gaze to the thumbs. And as you exhale, I want you to just bring your arms out wide to your side. Spread the fingers wide, palms face forwards. And now with your hands, your arms, your palms as an extension of your heart, just feel that joyful connection. We're all practicing together in the same space, holding a space of joy for each other. Giving each other a virtual hug. Who knows when we'll be able to give our, each other a real physical hug. So here, have a cyber hug. <laughs> One more breath here. And then exhale, just let that go. From here, taking another inhale, allowing the spine to gently lengthen. And as you exhale, just slowly starting to walk fingertips out in front of you. Coming to a super gentle fold. If it feels good in your body to have a little sway side to side here, then just introduce that gentle movement. If that's too much, just stay still.
Just noticing how this feels, noticing where the resistance might be happening in your body. And then slowly inhale, coming up, bring your hands down behind your hips and just uncross and then recross your legs the other way around. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine and exhale, coming back to that fold. Again, introducing movement if it feels nourishing, but if it doesn't, just stay still and steady. Just giving yourself the time to soften in. Noticing any differences side to side. How does this feel now that you've crossed your legs? What is probably the awkward way? <laughs> we all have unconscious preferences in terms of the way we move our body. So this just may not feel quite so comfortable for you. And then inhale, slowly coming back up. As you exhale, you're going to roll down onto your back. Just bring your knees into your chest and slowly holding onto the knees, just circle them away from you, giving your low back, your sacrum, a little massage into the floor. And then switch direction. And then take the knees wide and opening up the knees a little, grab hold of the outside edges of your feet. So you're coming towards a happy baby. If this is too much for you, just hold on to the backs of the knees or the hamstrings. Just give yourself some space here. Maybe finding a little rock from side to side. Again, just take what feels good. Take what you need and leave what you don't. And then slowly coming to stillness, release the feet and just hold on to the backs of your knees. We're going to roll up and down along the spine a few times, maybe getting a little bit of momentum up. And then you'll make your way to all fours. So coming to a tabletop position here. We'll just take a couple more rounds of cat cow here. So moving on from the seated version, coming to all fours, I want you to go really slowly so you notice how this feels all the way along your spine. So starting with the tailbone, inhale, just slowly start to tilt the tailbone, then allow the belly to drop. Then heart reaches forwards and then the last of all, looking up towards the ceiling. And then in reverse, as you exhale, slowly tucking the tailbone, rounding the low back, drawing belly button to spine, lifting up between the shoulder blades and then chin to chest. Again, inhale, lift the tailbone, slowly belly drops, heart reaches forwards, gaze lifts. And then tucking the tailbone, rounding the spine. One more. And then bringing yourself back to that neutral spine. Core is gently engaged here. Tuck your toes under, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, you're just gonna hover your knees off the mat. Just to start generating a little bit more core awareness. Keep pushing the floor away, keep lifting into that space between your shoulder blades and keep your core active. So your back is nice and long. And then lower the knees down. 
bring the big toes together, hips to heels, lower your hips back and just coming down to a child's pose, reaching the hands out away from you, forehead comes down to the mat. From here, you'll inhale, slowly roll yourself up to sitting on your heels, bring the knees together, fingertips can come down behind you. Take an inhale, slowly lift the heart, lift the gaze, draw the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, bringing your chin down to your chest and rolling yourself back to all fours, just going quite gently here. And then we're going to come into a little stability for the pelvis. And I'll give you two options. So Yogi's choice. Option one, you'll keep your knees on the floor. And we're just going to extend one leg at a time back. Option two is to hover the knees again. And similarly, we'll just extend one leg at a time back, but we're not actually lifting the leg completely. So we'll just extend back, toes will stay down and come back in. So if you're having issues with your low back, then maybe keep the knees down. But if you want a little bit more fiery core, float those knees up. So choose your poison, big inhale, exhale, maybe lift the knees, maybe keep them down. Inhale here, as you exhale, slowly extend the right leg back, toes come down. Inhale, come back in, keep those knees lifting, if that's what you've gone for. Slowly extend, left leg, toes stay down. Coming back in, extend the right. Inhaling in, exhale, extend the left, once more on each side. Inhale in, exhale right. Inhale in, exhale left. Inhale, come back in, lower the knees, <laughs> untuck the toes, hips to heels, coming back to your child's pose, forehead to the floor. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, let that go. <sighs> Inhaling, roll yourself up again, sitting on your heels. Fingertips come down behind you. Roll the shoulders back. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhaling, chin to chest. Slowly roll yourself forwards, hands coming back down to the mat, back to all fours. Core is active, take a big inhale. Exhale, extend left arm and right leg, or left hand can stay down, yogi's choice. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. Inhale as you extend, and then as you exhale, the left hand is going to come down, the right foot will come between your hands. Option one, Keep both hands on the floor. As you inhale, lean forwards, lift the back leg. If you feel like maybe balance is okay today, then you might float the hands. Inhale here. Exhale, hands will come back down. Lower the left foot, lower the knee. Then you'll inhale as you extend right leg, left arm. Exhale elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left hand comes down, right foot comes between the hands. Then you'll inhale, lean forwards, maybe just lift the leg, maybe hands will lift. Take a breath. Exhale, hands come down, knee lowers, and then inhale, extending left arm, right leg again. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, left hand comes to the mat. Right foot comes between your hands. You can pick it up and move it if you need to. Inhale, lean forwards, lift the left leg. Again, option to lift the hands. Take an extra breath here. And then exhale, step back. Lower the left knee. 
Inhale, extend, left arm, right leg. Exhale, lower hand, lower knee, untuck toes, hips to heels, come back to child's pose. Just take a moment, forehead to the mat, big inhale, full exhale. Just allow your body, your nervous system, a moment to process before we come to that on the other side. So just giving yourself a little bit of time. Especially if it's early in the morning for you. Okay, inhaling slowly, coming back up to your tabletop. Just taking a little bit of time to get that alignment, really activating your core. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, this time extending left leg and right arm. Inhale here. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, pop the right hand down, bring that left foot through between your hands. And then inhaling, lean forward, lift up the right leg. Hands can stay down, maybe they'll lift. And then on an exhale, the hands come back down to the mat. The right toes, the right knee comes back down. And as you inhale, you'll extend the left leg and the right arm. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, right hand comes down, foot comes between the hands. Inhale, lean forwards, lift that right leg. Maybe float the hands. Exhaling, hands come down. Lower the right foot, the right knee. And then on an inhale, the left leg and the right arm will extend again. Exhale, elbow to knee. This is the last round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, both hands to the mat. Left foot steps forwards. Inhale, lean forwards, picking up that right leg. Taking an extra breath. And then exhaling. Set the foot down, lower the knee. Inhaling, extend left leg and right arm and then exhale both hands come down both knees come down lower hips to heels coming back to your child's pose big breath in full breath out inhale roll yourself up to all fours tuck your toes and exhale slowly make your way to your first downward facing dog. And just give yourself a bit of time here in your down dog, just ease your way in. Pedaling one heel at a time, down to the mat. Slowly starting to settle into stillness when you feel ready. And then inhale, look forwards, lift the hips up high, keep your knees soft and exhale, slowly walking your feet towards your hands at the top of the mat. When you get there, take an inhale to look up, lengthen. Just keep your knees quite soft and exhale to fold. Let your head hang. Just interlace your hands and bring them to rest gently on the back of your skull, kind of towards the very base of the skull. Let your arms be heavy. Just adding a tiny bit of traction there giving you a really lovely release, a lovely stretch all along the back line. 
keeping the knees soft, release the hands down and super slowly inhaling, roll yourself up to stand, shoulders and then head comes up last. Take a big inhale here, open your mouth, let it go. And then we're going to start to shake. So just shaking your hands, knees soft, maybe finding a little bounce up and down through the legs and then see if you can start to make that bit bigger. Arms are shaking, shoulders shaking. Maybe you lift one leg, shake it out, lift the other. Just really go for it. Go wild. Getting that energy moving. Maybe you're actually jumping up and down, not sure where your playlist is. This could be an appropriate point in the music, maybe not, who knows? <laughs> but just really shaking it out. And then slowly, slowly coming back to stillness. Coming back to that intention that you set at the start of the class. Joy, playfulness, lightheartedness. Rooting down through your feet, inhale, reach the arms up. Right hand will clasp the left wrist and exhale, take a side bend off towards the right. Then inhale, come back up, switch the clasp, and exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, come all the way back up, hands in prayer, gaze to the thumbs, and exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forwards. Fingertips to the floor or maybe to your shins. Inhale, look up, lengthen. As you exhale, slowly step the left foot back, lowering the left knee down, untuck the toes. Inhaling, reach your arms up high. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Take a big breath in here. And then on your next exhale, you're going to cactus the arms, really draw the elbows back, draw the shoulder blades back and catapult your heart forward. So those of you who come to my classes, this is the Care Bear stare. Those of you who are too young to know who the Care Bears are, I'm very sad for you, but Google it, this is what we're doing. Care Bear Stare. Big breath in, full breath out. Just imagine that there's this huge explosion from your heart radiating out. Another big inhale here. And then exhaling, hands will come down to the mat. Slowly start to straighten the right leg any amount. Take an inhale here as you lengthen. And then exhale as you fold. Again, any amount. You might just be thinking about folding at some as yet unspecified future date. And just see if you can find a little more softness with each of those exhales and a little more space with each inhale. And then we're going to walk the left hand off the mat. So we're creating a little bit more space and we're going to inhale, reach that right arm up. And you might find that just kind of rotating the right leg in and out, windshield wiping it, bring some different sensations into the hips or the hamstrings. Keep rolling both shoulder heads back. One more breath here. And then exhaling, you'll bring both hands down to the inside of that right foot and you're slowly going to turn towards the left. So pivoting that left leg behind you. Fantastic. And then you'll inhale, lift your torso. Exhaling, right hand will come to the outside of the right thigh. Inhale, the left arm up and exhale, taking another juicy side stretch. 
gazing up or down, depending on how your neck is feeling. And then gather your core, inhale, bring yourself back up to center. Both arms are out at shoulder height. And slowly with control, lowering the left hand down towards the floor. So you're now leaning towards the back of your mat. Right arm reaching high. And then bring that right arm overhead, coming for a really lovely side stretch down the right side of your body. Option one, stay here. Option two, just shift a little forward so you can lift that right leg. Maybe you stay here or maybe you reach the right arm behind you, bend the right knee, bring the foot to the hand. Option to explore a little bit more space here that feels helpful in your body. Breathe. One more. Slowly releasing the foot, lowering it back down, and then sweeping the arms all the way back to the top of the mat, pivoting on the feet and the knees, and then just rebending into that right knee, bringing the left hand, no, the right hand to the inside of the right foot. I really must get left and right tattooed on my hands and feet at some point. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale here. So option one, back knee can stay down. Option two, you can lift it up. If you're already feeling quite warm and spacious in the hips, option, of course, to drop the forearms down if that feels helpful. If you're on your forearms, slowly come back up to your hands. Gather your core, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, drop the hips down, so you're coming towards a squat. Now, if a squat is not something that feels helpful, comfortable in your body, just grab a block or a pile of books, pop them under your hips and just hang out there, take a little seat. As this is squat number one, just go easy on yourselves. I didn't mean that sounds so ominous. One of 500. No, it's not. It's not, I promise. But keep that connection between your um, outer arms, outer elbows, and inner knees. Just keep that quite active so you can feel that you're working into the hips. Collarbones are broad, so there's no rounding happening in your upper back. And then exhaling, pop the hands down, slowly lift the hips up, heel toe your feet back to hip distance. Take an inhale, look up, lengthen. And then exhale to fold. Just let your head hang, give it a little shake out. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhaling, step the right foot back. Lower the knee down, untuck the toes, so the toes are pointing towards the back of the mat. And then inhale, arms reach up, low lunge. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Keep the low belly lifting as you just explore a bit of flexibility through the hips. And then on your next exhale, you're gonna cactus the arms again. Draw the elbows back, draw the shoulder blades back. Heart catapults forwards, curve stir. And then next exhale, fingertips will come down to the floor and you'll slowly start to straighten that left leg any amount. Toes can stay down or you can flex the foot. Just go for what feels helpful in your body. Inhaling, lengthen the spine. 
Exhale, maybe fold, maybe don't. Take what you need. And remember, this is your practice. So actually, if what's gonna make you feel joyful is just hanging out in child's pose, please do that. And then we're going to just take the right hand off the mat towards the right and slowly start to open out reaching the left arm high and again you might find that you just need to keep the left leg quite still and steady here or you might find that kind of rotating the leg getting a little windshield wipe action feels helpful might not just see what's going on with your body today but roll both shoulders back so your chest stays really nice and open And then exhaling, you're gonna bring your left hand down to the inside of the left foot, and then we'll slowly walk our hands all the way towards the right, just turning as we go. So setting up for that paragasana on the other side. You'll inhale, come up, and as you exhale, the left hand will come to the outside of the left leg. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, as you just explore that stretch. You can be looking up or down. Just finding lots of space around the rib cage, around the side body. And then strong core, inhale brings you up, arms out at shoulder height, and then exhaling right hand slowly comes down to the floor bring that left arm over taking that lovely side stretch on the other side now maybe you stay here or maybe you're going to shift forwards so that it becomes easy and light to lift that left leg and again maybe you stay here this could be perfect or you might reach your left arm behind you bend the left knee bring the foot into the hand and just explore a little bit of spaciousness here. One more breath. And then slowly release. Lower that left foot back down at the top of the mat and slowly bring yourself all the way back to the top of the mat, turning as you go. Rebend into that left knee. Left hand to the inside of the left foot. Toes tucked, maybe that knee stays down. Maybe you lift the knee. Just see how you feel on this side, but without any expectations. We are all delightfully wonky, and that is one of the things that makes us so unique and wonderful and special. So don't expect symmetry. Symmetry would be boring. Maybe your forearms might be a good place to hang out. Maybe not. And then from here, Come back to your hands if you're on your forearms. Take a big breath in, just lift your hips a bit to give yourself the space. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring that right foot to the outside of the right hands. Slowly, hips will come down as you find your squat. Heart lifts. So, if a squat is not your happy place and you're sitting on a pile of books or a block, you stay there. If, however, a squat is something that feels like, yeah, this is okay, then we're going to add on. So some of you have done this with me before. You're going to reach your arms up, activate the thighs, lift the hips. I'm going to walk around in a circle. So if you haven't already laughed at yourself, this is prime opportunity to laugh at just how incredibly graceful you can feel on the mat. So 
off you go. Round in a circle, like a teeny tiny, very ungainly, I don't know. I, mean, I actually feel like a baby hippo when I'm doing this, but still I do it and I make you do it too. Here we are. <laughs> Coming all the way back to the top of the mat when you're ready, when you've completed your very graceful loop. <laughs> And then hands will come down, slowly lift your hips, heel toe your feet back to hip distance. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, fold, let your head hang. Once again, just cradle the back of your head. Maybe knees are staying soft. Slowly releasing the hands down, soften the knees even more and inhaling, roll yourself all the way up to stand. Close your eyes, root down through your feet. Take a big inhale, open your mouth, let it go. And again, big breath in and smile as you sigh out. One more big inhale and let it go. Blinking your eyes open, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forwards. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, slowly step the left foot back, this time keeping the back knee lifted root down through both feet inhale coming up to your crescent lunge exhale here take a big breath in and then exhaling cactus the arms catapult your heart forwards coming to your care in crescent lunge really feeling that expansion through your heart Big inhale, and then exhaling, slowly draw it back in, bringing your fingertips down to the floor. Now you might need to keep the front knee bent or you may slowly start to straighten it. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, fold, or maybe just think about it. And then inhaling, re-bend that right knee, drop the left heel in and down. Right hand comes to the inside of the right foot. Slowly straighten the right leg as you peel yourself open towards the left. And then left arm reaches up, coming to Trikonasana. Big breath in. Full breath out, look down to the floor. Soften into that right knee again, just heel toe the left foot in. So the transition is a little bit easier. Be kind to yourself. Right hand comes down to the floor or on a block if balance is just not there today. And we're slowly creeping our way to Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Option one, hang out here. Option two, maybe, you bend the top knee, reach back for the foot. So taking that half bow variation that we did on the floor, but just throwing it into a balance. Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Again, heart expands. And then slowly release the foot. Left arm reaches high, start to bend through that right knee. Reach the right arm forwards and then step the left foot down at the back of the mat. Straighten the right leg, bend the left knee, either coming down to Skandasana or staying a bit higher and taking a skater. Yogi's choice.
then hands will come down to the mat. Inhale, pick up your hips, coming through center. So coming to a Prasari to Padottanasana. Slightly um, pigeon toe your feet. I don't know if that's a English, English or American English. Toes are turned slightly in, heels out. Inhale, look up, lengthen, exhale as you fold. Then inhaling, look forwards. Staying in your prasarita, you might just want to wiggle your feet a bit wider if you can, as wide as you comfortably can. And then you're gonna bring one hand behind you through your legs. The other arm will reach forwards, bend that back elbow, supporting yourself as you magically come down to a seat. So I'm just gonna look over here. And then when I look back at the screen, you're all magically going to be sitting in a wide angle. Ta-da! Perfect. Moving any pandemic padding away from your seat bones. Take an inhale as you sit up really nice and tall and exhale, maybe you just stay here. Maybe you start to explore teeny tiny bit of flexibility, like just millimeters. Just see, just see what's available for you today. Big inhale and exhale as you soften. And then inhaling, slowly come back up. Bring your right hand to the back of your right knee. Bend the right knee and then slowly bring the sole of the foot to the left inner thigh. So you're kind of facing towards the um, back left corner of your mat. Yeah. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, just exploring Janu A, just seeing how it feels. If it's not there today, don't worry about it. And then inhaling, slowly coming up. Exhale as you plant the right hand towards the top of the mat. And then press down through the right knee and the left foot. Lift your hips coming into kind of side plank-ish variation, but we're gonna throw that pair bear stare in. <laughs> so it's a heart opener again. And then both hands will come to the mat. We're gonna come straight to a downward facing dog. Big inhale here. Come up high on the balls of your feet, look forwards and step or jump feet to the outsides of your hands. And you might just want to actually come a little bit further back on the mat here. So we're in our squat again, and you've got choices. Just give myself a tiny bit more room. <laughs> so option one, hang out in your squat. Option two, you might just want to lift your arms. If you really enjoyed going round in a circle, then you can always do that again. Or you might just pop your hands down, lift your hips up, lean forward. Yeah, option three. Or you might take some little frog jumps here. So you may go squat, hands down, heels to bum, back to squat. Hands down, heels to bum, back to squat. Again, it doesn't have to be graceful or beautiful, but just explore, just have a play. And if you're taking the frog jumps, you can do between three and five, or you can just hang out in your squat. Yogi's choice. What does your body need? What do you need? What does your heart need? And then when you're done, hands will come down. You'll slowly lift the hips up and heel toe your feet back to hip distance at the top of the mat. Take an inhale, look up and then exhale as you fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step the right foot back. Keep that back knee lifting. Inhale, coming up, crescent lunge. Exhale here, lift the low belly, square the hips, and then care bear stare. Cactus the arms. 
shoulder blades and elbows draw back, heart explodes forwards. Big inhale and let it go. And then slowly hands come down to the mat or to a block. Gradually starting to straighten that left leg any amount. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you fold. And then inhaling, rebend into that left knee. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot, slowly drop that right heel in and down. And then gradually we're gonna straighten that left leg as you open out to your triangle pose. Feel free to lift the left hand, bring it to your shin or even your thigh if you need some more space here. Just adjust as you need to. Big breath in and full breath out. And then looking down to the floor, slowly start to soften that left knee, just heel toe the right leg in. Bring your right hand to your right hip, left hand comes down in front of you, lean, 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 picking up, opening out to your Ardha Chandrasana on the left. So again, Ardha Chandra Chapasana is available. So if you want to bend the top knee, reach the hand around, open your heart, roll the shoulders back. Lovely, really nice, everyone. Fantastic. And then whichever variation you'd opted for, you're going to very slowly release any bind you may have. Look down, soften that left knee to help with the transition. Left arm reaches forwards, right foot comes down at the back of the mat. Straighten the left leg, bend the right knee. So you're coming to the back of the mat. Don't be confused by me turning around. I just didn't think you needed my bum in your face for quite as long as was about to happen. Skandasana or skater pose. And then inhale, come up, exhale, prasarita. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Again, take the feet as wide as you can, hand reaches back, counterbalance reaches forward. Somehow, magically, I'm not watching, you're just going to end up sitting <laughs> in your wide angle. As if by magic, ta-da! <laughs> Again, moving your pandemic padding out of the way, take an inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, maybe you stay, maybe you fold. Inhaling as you come up, this time bending left knee, bringing the sole of the foot to the right inner thigh, taking an inhale as you lengthen, and an exhale as you fold, just exploring Janusasana. Inhaling, coming up, pop the left hand down as you exhale. Press the left knee and the right foot down. Inhaling, reaching up, opening out, make it melodramatic. And then whew, both hands come down from here, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forwards, exhale, step or jump, feet to the outside of your hands. Arms reach forwards and lower down. <laughs> Extending your legs out in front of you, just moving any padding out of the way. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale as you fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to soften. One more.
and then slowly inhale, bring yourself up, soften your knees and come all the way down onto your back. Bringing your knees in towards you, giving yourself a squeeze, having a little rock from side to side. Maybe circling the knees again, just massaging the low back. And then just dropping both knees down towards the right. Take an inhale here. Let it go. And then back up through center, taking that twist on the other side. Big inhale. And release. Coming back up to center and then just stretching your legs out away from you, closing your eyes, going down to Shavasana. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. And just allow yourself to drop into stillness there. Allowing your bones to be heavy, your muscles to just soften and let go. There's no longer any effort here. You're not trying to hold yourself in any particular position. Each inhalation gently nourishes every single cell in your body. And each exhale carries away the things you no longer need. Releasing what is no longer serving you. And just let your awareness travel around your body. Noticing anything that might have changed or shifted. No criticism or judgment. Just noticing. Allowing yourself to be here. Now you are at home. If you're on the playlist, hopefully you're listening to some super mellow tunes by now. Um, so you are more than welcome to just stay here in Shavasana for as long as you need. But if you're ready to start coming back into the world, into your day, just gradually re-energizing your breath. Gently bringing some movement back into your body. And when you're ready, taking a really lovely stretch, maybe moving a little side to side, maybe coming over onto your side, and then making your way up to a comfortable seat. Hands will rest on your knees or in your lap. And just bringing your hands together in prayer at heart center. Taking a moment in gratitude, just being thankful for yourself, for your body, for your efforts, for your sense of humor and your resilience 
for your ability to embrace silliness when it's offered to you. And then reconnecting with the intention that you set. Bowing your brain to your heart, the greatest teacher that there is. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. Hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening, depending on which side of the Atlantic you are. Um, my link to donate is in the chat. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you again so much and have a great, <laughs> a great evening. You are very welcome. <laughs> Take good care. <laughs> And thank you, Kira Grace, for having all of this. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. We're so happy that all of you join us every week and been able to have some really amazing experiences and teachers like Rachel. So thank you to all of you. I put Rachel's playlist in the chat again because someone was asking. And I also put her um, donation link. And I'll see you all next week. Lisa Griffiths will be teaching. And um, we'll be here. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. That was thank a lot you. Of thank you. Much thank love. you. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Take good care. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye. 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 <laughs> thank you. <laughs> much love. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Lee. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>